we bought some of the cheapest products on Amazon to see if they're absolute bargains or total crap. Here they are, so let's find out. Cycling is amazing, but we know it can be expensive. A lot of cycling kit costs a lot of money, so really cheap stuff can be appealing. But is it false economy? We felt it certainly seemed that way with the Eurobike, the cheapest road bike on Amazon. But what about other kit, like shorts, lights, jerseys, and other stuff? Well, before Christmas, we headed out to Girona armed with all of our cheap accessories to see if they're any good and if they're actually worth spending your money on. Here they are. Wow, this stuff is amazing. It's it's like Christmas. You sound so excited. <laughs> well, here's how this is going to go down, right? We've got some absolute bargains here. Now, I, I can tell that, that we both really want to wear this kit, but we've not got enough for two people. No. So I'm going to do a coin toss yep. and the, the lucky winner gets to wear it. Oh, God, I yeah? hope it's me. Heads I win, tails you lose. No. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going for? Heads or back to being 10 years old, then. Uh, heads. Heads, right. Heads. Okay. What does that mean, though? If I win? You win. Okay. If you win, you choose. get to wear it. No, if yeah, I win. No, I... If you win, you get to wear it. That's the way it's going down. All right, heads are where it tells you wear it. All right. All right. <laughs> no, it's tails! It's tails! <laughs> I can't wait to see you in the oh, The Katina, enjoy the ride. Right, come on then, let's get the kit on. Right, so first up, shorts. I'm gonna go find a bush over there. <laughs> you wanna go quite far in. I don't want the Guardia Seville coming to guess. Right, while well, Ollie is over there getting changed in the privacy bush, let me run you through some of the gubbins that we're gonna put onto his bike. So first up, safety, right? Number one priority. These things, front and rear little lights. So they come in a pack of six. So you've got three for the front, three for the back. And according to the label, it's the bestly set of six light water resistant headlight. Now this box of six lights costs $12.99, delivered to my door next day, which is absolutely incredible. Quite good value for money. Next thing on the list, this saddle cover, important to keep Ollie comfortable on the bike. Let's have a look what it's called. It's called the Suke Sports Bike Saddle Cover, model CA2201, color red. Two lovely Velcro straps on there, universal, fit any saddle. Let's get this onto his bike. Before we go any further and you get to see what this kit actually looked like, let me just point out that Alex stitched me right up by ordering the wrong sized kit and making me look ridiculous. So lesson one, if you are gonna be buying cheap stuff online, always check the sizing. And it's also worth having a look at the comments underneath it to see if it is true to size. Oh my God, why? Why, this, why did you get a jersey in this size? The jersey's like double XL. And the shorts are like extra small. <laughs> Crimes! What the f is this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You look good, mate. <laughs> you're, an absolute, you're an absolute cretin. You rigged this. You have been stitched up here. I mean, he wants to stay in this. Why have you got the shortest shorts in the world and then the biggest, baggiest jersey I've ever seen? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is this? What just... is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm in pants. Are you flexing? <laughs> no. <laughs> so these shorts, right, you might be thinking I've got them on inside out. We've actually looked at the images. Now, I'm only wearing them as per the image. On the advert? That's on the advert. The shorts are really tight. Yeah? Yeah. What they size are they? Extra small. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, they're basically like boxers with a chamois. <laughs> 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 
Right, you get onto the bike and then we'll run through your full setup. Right, first up, we've got the anus heated vest. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm right. I'm wearing now. Um, how much was this one? So this product is actually our most expensive that we have of our selection here today, $39.99. Premium product. Premium product. And so this works with a power bank sold separately. Yeah. So I've got my power bank in here. I'm now going to turn it on, at which point I should have three heat modes. It works. I think, warm uh, you up. I think this this would probably be suitable for if you were maybe bike packing, hiking. You somewhere. can't sleep in it. No, you can't sleep in it. And they also suggest it's not for pregnant women. Okay, right, so heated vests, what are we thinking? In fact, actually, before I hear your thoughts on this, we're gonna do this with all of the cheap stuff we're looking at today. Rate it or hate it. I'm gonna go in. Um, I kind of rate heated vests. I want to be nice and warm. What do you think? Do you know what heated vests for uh, skiing or motorcycling? Yeah. Yeah. Can see it, but for road cycling, nah. This is a hater from you, is it? Yeah. All right, clear. Job done. Next product. Next product. Where do you want to go with that, man? We'll go on the, jer we... the jersey. Jersey? Yeah. Okay. Quick, put your jersey down, people are coming. Oh, God. They're staring. <laughs> okay, right, so this jersey that you had on, tell me more about it, what are you thinking? Well, I mean, it says on the advert it's professional cut, and that kind of insinuates that it's like what the professionals use. Yeah. That's very misleading. Okay, yes, it was like, double XL or whatever it was. Triple. But like irrespective of that, like the, the cut still isn't professional grade. And the other big thing is the quality of the fabrics being yeah. used, like this this sort of nasty, very cheap polyester that's employed. It doesn't feel nice against your skin. Um, it, it's quite itchy. You don't have to buy the most premium jersey available to humanity. No. But I think if you just save a bit more money and spend a bit more, you will get something that is far nicer to use, that's far more functional and far more comfortable to wear. Definitely, plus you won't get saggy pockets. Hate it. Rate it or hate it, hate it, 100%. Save your money, save up and get a better jersey. Yeah, I think you've only got to invest Both a tiny, tiny little bit more and you'll get something that is slightly more suited for the job at hand. Right. I'm gonna say hate it. Yeah. It's about time we addressed an elephant in the room here. Your cycling shorts. Why on earth did you phrase it like that? Well, it's just something that we have skirted around speaking about so far. Okay, right. So these are advertised as being suitable for road cycling, mountain biking, leisure cycling, spin cycling, and something called free cycling, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. Now the advantages of, say, a cheap cycling shorts which don't have the bib straps on are quick and easy to put on, one little bonus. Um, when you're putting your cycling shorts on, you don't feel like you're putting on a wrestling leotard, like you're gonna go do WWE wrestling. And third advantage, which is particularly helpful for women actually, is it's really quick and easy to go for a wee if you well, need to. Look, that we should point out there are women's specific bib shorts that have toilet stops designed into them. With, yeah, they've got like a little hook. I mean, yeah. the cycling industry has thought of everything. Yeah, they have. And the, <sighs> If you're new to, what pains me is like, if you're new to cycling, you might not appreciate the advantage of bib shorts, or they might look weird, or they might look intimidating, and you might I think, mean, the I don't shorts need you're that, wearing that's not look me. weird. They look weird on you, those yeah. shorts. Um, <laughs> but take it, take it from as both, as like experienced and, you know, very knowledgeable cyclists, that they're more comfortable, they hold in place, you don't get that wind gap at yeah. the back. Or the front, you end up yeah, with your belly, they, they, belly hanging they, out. They stay in place, they're much better. Even if you're getting in cycling to just do things like spinning in the gym, wearing bib shorts is the way to go. Yeah, cheap cycling shorts, poor quality chamois, you've got a single layer of foam, not very comfortable, not very robust. I'm gonna say cheap cycling shorts, hate them. Hate them. <laughs> Our next bargain bucket cycling product is the bike helmet you're wearing. So this, is the, 
This is the Samit adult bike helmet with safety rear lights, cycling helmet for men, women with detachable UV protective goggles visor, adjustable mountain bike, bicycle helmet for road riding, urban commuting scooter. Another catchy name. They love catchy names on Amazon, they don't do. they? Well, how much does this one cost? Um, this is 20 pounds. 20 quid? Yes. Do you know what? Right. So when you take this off and have a look on the inside, it's got the like European like CE safety certification. That helmet has passed the same safety standards as nearly every bike helmet that's out there and is sold legally within Europe. Yeah, so it has passed safety standards, um, which means it should offer like the legal protection that a bike helmet has to, has to offer. It doesn't have the latest safety tech in it, like slip planes and MIPS and stuff that you get on premium uh, bike and ski helmets, but yeah, like it's all thing right. that I'd like to highlight, it is fully adjustable. So it's got a retaining mechanism at the back. The straps underneath the ears, adjustable. The strap underneath, adjustable. Yeah. I mean, it looks like you could maybe do with adjusting it a bit, but yeah. that is one of the most important things, a bike helmet fit that is quite good. and how secure it is. It does the job. Like if you're, you know, wanting to get into cycling and you just want a helmet that's just going to give you some head protection, 20 quid. Yeah. It's all right. Seems like a no-brainer. Yeah. Two points which I particularly like about helmet. Oh, I like them. Inbuilt rear light, fantastic. And if you switch, spin it round, look at the front. The front vents have got that little piece of mesh to stop things like flies, wasps and bees going into your head. Oh. But I'm going to put my neck on the line here. I'm going to say cheap helmets, as long as they are like safety certified yeah. entry-level cheap helmets, rate them. Oh, I'm going to completely agree with you. Yeah, 100%. Rate them. So onto the saddle padded cover. Yes. How much? £16.99, which is a lot more than I was anticipating. Yeah. Yeah. So, right, I, you know, I've been riding this for the last half an hour where I've ridden a lot of saddles in my time, a lot of stuff, like, this is not good. Um, again, it's one of those products where people who are new to cycling, yeah. maybe their saddle's uncomfortable. They think, I know, I'm going to make it more padded by getting this thing. Um, don't, is, is our advice. Yeah, from my experience, adding more padding between you and your saddle, what's padding in some instances is good, that level is not what you really want. No, like what makes your saddle comfortable or uncomfortable, the most critical aspect of it is the shape of the saddle. Yeah. And then a good fitting pair of bib shorts as well is what you want. But generally saddles with sort of minimal padding are, are generally better. It sounds counterintuitive, but you just have to trust our experience on this. Look at the people who ride thousands and thousands of miles in the Tour de France. Yeah. They're not using saddle covers. Ultra endurance their... rider, Mark Beaumont. Yeah. Would you see one of those on his bike? Absolutely no. not. Whoa, 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 hold up, right. Whilst I don't think bargain bucket saddle covers are needed for like 99% of cyclists, Hear me out, right? Because I, I feel you're not feeling this yet. If you are not going to be cycling in cycling shorts, you mean normal clothes, and you ride in like a bolt upright position, and you're only going to ride 10, 15 minutes at most to the shops, a saddle cover could make your bike ever so slightly more comfortable. But for the majority of people, I think saddle covers should go in the bin. Well, on that basis, I'm going to hate it. Yeah, I hate it as well. Oh, easy. I actually hate it. Rubbish. <laughs> so, next up, we've got the Bestel C, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. LED lights. The, so, light, the names of this stuff is the best. They're obviously not designed to light the trail. I mean, you can turn that on. You know, solid. That, it's just flash a couple mode. of LEDs. Yeah. But you've got different flashing modes and you've got a solid beam thing on there yeah and the rear one is red as well so you've got front and rear they're yeah like i say not super bright they're not going to light your way but when you're riding at night in an urban area where it's they're like just you just need a flashing light so that you can be seen by others yeah these things work they do work and another thing right in the uk when we do time trials and hill climbs you yeah. have to have front and rear lights now these were quite popular used by many these people are, yeah these are good because they're they're really light they're really small and light and they're cheap 
and you can just fit them on your bike almost anywhere. Like I, you can fit them under a saddle or under your computer. So 12 mount. pounds, you can have front and rear lights for three bikes. Yeah. That kind of blows the my mind. The other thing is, bit. so they have a little coin cell battery in. Yeah. You can you can change it when it runs flat. You can just take this, pull this rubber well, thing off and put Oh, they can replace the battery in those. Yeah. That is fantastic actually, because I was anticipating they were going to be like a disposable product. Do you know what? I'm going to say I rate these. I, I think they're useful. Um, I completely agree. 100% rate that. Mm. Okay, so I hope this has been like a helpful insight into some cheaper, more affordable entry level cycling products. And I know we've had a bit of fun and a bit of a laugh along the way, but there are some really helpful sort of takeaway points from this. Some bits of kit suitable for the job, other bits false sort of economy. False economy. Yeah, and we hope we've given you some like actual good insight into that so that you don't waste your money on something that's cheap and just rubbish. Also, areas that you can save some money on yep. and then spend it in other areas for your cycling journey. Yeah, yeah. right, we've got a ride back into Girona town now. <laughs> I, 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 need that. I need to get changed because I genuinely think I might get arrested by, by the police in this. <laughs> but the cameraman's told me, stop it, the cameraman's told me <laughs> that I need to keep it on because apparently he needs to get more shots uh, but what if the real police don't arrest you? The fashion police certainly don't. <laughs> For God's will. sake, this is horrendous. I hate you all. Why? You're. <laughs> if you want to see, right? If you want to see us do another video with more like cheap bargain products and rate them, like yeah, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And this time we'll make Alex wear them. <laughs>